In this video we are going to learn uh, what's the screw hole number and why is it yeah, defined and uh, what's more or less the purpose of it. Uh, the idea is to have a dimensionless number of flow fluctuations or instabilities. So inside the flow you yeah, can have some instabilities. For instance here we have a, a rod and yeah, flow is approaching the, the rod itself and then our after this rod or wire, then we have at certain Reynolds number we have some vortex street, which is the von Kármán vortex street in this case, and this is some flow instability with which can be or defines some screw hole number, and the screw hole number itself reads as the screw hole number is equal to the frequency, which is the oscillation frequency here uh, of the of the rod. Uh, and some characteristic length scale of the fluid uh, divided by the fluid velocity itself. And based on this through hole number, um, we can learn first of all for different setup um, and different dimensions or physical dimensions of the setup. If we have the dimensionless uh, dimensions equal or equally set, then the through hole number of this instability mechanism will be. Uh, very similar. Uh, furthermore, there is a result that we can use for measuring and simulating flow. Based on this, if we know the screw hole number has a certain value and we would like to resolve a certain screw hole number, then we can come up with a time discretization or if we do measurements, we come up with a sampling frequency that is required to measure more or less this flow state. So these two key findings are very interesting and based on the true number. And yeah, the next video will be about the isentropic speed of sound.